Don't wait. We got it, big dad. Huh? <laughs> What's that muscle? Ain't no way he was gonna get over that hump. <laughs> <laughs> Hello once again everybody, Don Stevens here, Horseman Don with another edition of the Horseman Don Show. Well here on the Horseman Don channel on YouTube, we cover horse racing in southwest Louisiana, specifically right here at Delta Downs Racetrack Casino and Hotel as we race thoroughbreds and quarter horses year round each and every year. Well, we're coming up on week number seven of our American Quarter Horse season here at Benton, Louisiana. We've got live racing this Wednesday through Saturday night. Post times are at 6.15 p.m. Our big race this week is the Virgil Bond at 870 yards around the hook on Friday night. Don't miss that. Some great distance horses trying to get the distance in the Virgil Bond this year. Well, in this edition of the show, we're going to check in with AQHA World Champion Trainer Kenny Roberts as he talks about his horses that will be going next week in the Firecracker Futurity and Derby Trials. He also talks about this year's LQHBA Yearling Sale, which comes up the first week of August. He's doing his research right now to hopefully come up with another champion. I also spoke with Michael Taylor this morning. He's atop the trainer standings right now, and I get his reaction to the big win a couple of weeks ago by his trainee, Shake, Shake, Shake It, in the Laddie Futurity. He's got a nice story to tell about that horse. And I talked to John Hamilton, five-time leading jockey here at Delta Downs. He's atop the jockey standings right now, and he was uh, nominated for a very big national award last week, and we're going to talk to him about that. It's a big honor, and it's really a big deal, and he was very, very happy about that. All that and more coming up on this episode of the Horseman Don Show. Let's get started. No, 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 Three mall? Yeah. How do you spell that? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Got a feisty one. Yeah. Anyways, 27 years old? Yeah, 20, 25 or 26. Really? Like that. And one of Kenny's had him the whole time? Yep. Good old horse, huh? Yeah, good pony. Yeah. It's good. How much longer do you think he can work? Ah. Probably got another four or five years at Amazing. least. That's incredible. All yeah. right, we'll keep them healthy, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy. Stream on. Stream on. Yeah. All right, John, nominated for Sam Thompson Memorial Award. Congratulations. That's Thank quite an honor. You. Yes, it is. To be nominated just by itself is an honor. You know, it's the guild. Uh, makes the nominations and then we voted on by our peers. So yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of a uh, flattering. Isn't it kind of more special because the guys you race with and compete against will be voting? Yes, you know, and it's it's a uh, it's award not for how you do at the racetrack, right. it's for more off the racetrack. You know, and and you know as you get older, that's what it's really all about. Right. Yeah. So what do you, so what do you think? That's going to be announced in September. What would it mean for you to win it? You know, it'd be a highlight of my career. You know, it's, there's a few things that that's happened throughout my career that's. That's you know that's kind of set me apart, and that would definitely be one of them. You know, because it's, like I said, it's an award for. You know, it's, it's one thing to get an award for something you get paid for, right? right? right. Leading rider or, or you know champion rider, but when you get an award for being recognized for the kind of person you are on and off the track, then that's something to be said. Yeah. Would it mean that it must to you as saying winning a million or something? Yeah, like that? Absolutely, for sure, yeah. for sure. You know, at this stage in my life, my career, yeah, you know, money is not near as important as it used to be. Yeah. So let me tell you, in the jocks room, are you like padding some palms to get some votes? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I was looking for some babies to kiss and babies. Yeah. <laughs> Shake hands just yeah. like a politician, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. For right. sure. Well, what do you have coming up this week and, and next week in the firecracker? How are you looking? Well, you know, this week's really nice. Like the first light week I've had in, you know, this whole meet. Uh, we have, but I have, you know, I'm loaded for the firecracker. I feel good about the firecracker. Yeah, you told me that last week. Yeah, I have uh, the horse that broke his maiden the last time. One, uh, uh, one yeah. brave heart. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, the gray horse. You know, he broke his maiden su super easy. Oh, okay. Going 250 the other day. It's his second out. His first out, he didn't do so well. 
but he put it together and, come and beat him really bad, you know, yeah. run fast over kind of, a, you know, an off track. So, yeah, yeah I'm excited about him. Yeah, and have have one more that's going to be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, we got to find out about that. And then of yeah. course, Elite Burwick comes up the week after that, so we're, we're getting ready for the big money, aren't we? Yeah, you know, and I, I rode one last week that uh, that I like for the Lee Burwick, and uh, he, he runs second, but he, he kind of you know, got some trouble away from there. But he'll be he'll be tough. You know, oh, he's first out. Yeah, he'll be tough. For sure. I know you're busy. We're done with break. Congratulations on the award. Thank I know you. I'm getting older too, and stuff like that really does mean a lot. Yeah, it does. You know, that's something you can tell your grandkids about. Yeah, you know, for yeah. sure. And your name would be in something for a long yeah, time. Yeah. So. You know, you get, they ask you up for the All American uh, weekend in Red Dose, so you get to pop knob with all the really elite people and right. you know, all the people that you, you've uh, you watched you right. know, come through the business. So, yeah, it'd be a big deal. You and know, people I, you haven't seen in a long exactly, time. Probably. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Well, well I don't get a vote, but if I did, I'd vote for you. <laughs> Thank you, brother, very all much. Right. Thanks so much, John. Thank Have you, a good man. day. You too, guys. All right, Kenny, almost halfway through the season now. We got the firecracker trials next week. What do you have lined up? Well, I got one in the Derby, and I, I believe I have between five or six in the tri uh, fraternity trials. So I'm hoping one of them pop up and, and, and show what they kind of talent they have. So that's where we stand right now with them. Yeah, now firecracker races are open breads, of course, and you specialize in Louisiana breads. And of course, that's where the money is. But uh, what kind of success have you had in the firecracker in the past? Fill us in. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to think about. It. I don't know if I ever won the firecracker. You <laughs> Maybe know, when you need to win. Yes, and and but I had qualified in it and run second and third in. Well, last year I run second in. A matter of fact, that's right, you did. And uh, so we just waiting to see what happened uh, this year with the two yos that we have. Give it the best shot you can, right? That's it. That's yeah. it. Okay, now tell us about you drive I fly. Of course, our horse wins the million last year to Evangeline. He deserves some time off, and he's getting that right now, but he's slowly bringing him back, right? We we taking him real slow. We had a, a little minor a surgery done to him, so we taking our time to come back with him. So right now we looking at maybe the big derby at uh Vagelin. That's what we're looking at right now, but uh, we've been in having him in the Alcatraz for about two months, so uh, we're going to get him checked again probably this coming week, then the doctor going to let us know if we could go on with it. Well, so. the likes of Angelin, obviously, won the million dollar race, so that's the track to run him at. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. But, he, you know, he ran good here last year. You know, he runs second in the Lee Burke over here last year, and, uh, but... I just kind of feel that, you know, with giving that time off is going to help him a lot. Well, he deserves it and he earned it, that's for sure, huh? That's for sure. Well, it's good to be that time of year. Are you studying up for the sale in August? I tell you what, I'm, matter of fact, today I'm going to look at a few babies today and uh, just take a good look at them and see what, you know, some people have to offer. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's getting to be that time. It seemed like it, we just started. I know. And it's, it's, you know like we just did this last year. I'm yeah. telling you, and we're starting all over again. Yeah. Do you log a lot of miles traveling around looking at babies? Oh, I do. I do. I, I try to go by every farm that I can to get an idea of what we, yeah. you know, what kind of babies they have to offer. The catalog's one thing, but looking at them in the flesh is what you need to it do. It means right? a lot. It yeah. means a lot. And, and, and when you get to the sale, it's hard to check everything out, you know, Yep. in those uh, two or three days at the sale. So uh, that's why I like to go farm to farm and take a look at them. Well, I know you'll be prepared. You always are. Good luck second half of the season, Kenny. Hey, I'm coming at them now, man. No, 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 All right. Well, it's time to take a short break here on the Horseman Don Show. In a few moments, we'll give you the jockey and trainer standings through the first six weeks of our American Quarter Horse season. Hey, have you ever tried the Chalkbuster picks? If you're betting simulcasting from coast to coast, I highly recommend the Chalkbuster. 
It is handicapped by Mike Barker, my good friend in Ohio. He gives you daily picks, non-chalk, non-morning line favorite picks, and they win a lot. Believe me, you will be so happy. They're all value, no chalk, every day. You can get those picks for five bucks a day. What a value. And you can get them at brisnet.com and twinspires.com. Check out the Chalk Buster. I think it'll put some money in your pocket. Hey, when you come out here to the track, make sure and have a meal in the Lookout restaurant. The food is to die for. The atmosphere is wonderful, and they've got that open-air balcony. And now that it's like summer outside, you can go out there and watch the races, see the horses all the way around the racetrack. It's a fantastic view. Check it out here at Delta Downs. Just take the west elevator to the top, go in, get a seat, and spend the night. You'll have a great meal, a wonderful time with your family and friends. Tell them Don sent you, well, hopefully they'll let you stay. Well, you know, here at Delta Downs, we have quarter horse racing one time a year. It's April through July, and we're having a great season going on right now. But coming up in just a couple of weeks, we've got some of the best trials of the season. Next week, we will have the Firecracker Derby and Futurity Trials. That's Friday, June the 8th, and Saturday, June the 9th. And then coming up a week later on June 16th, we'll have the Lee Berwick Futurity Trials. Those are the best of the year. The Louisiana bred two-year-olds go at it. Last year, we had a record purse over $700,000. And of course, those Lee Berwick horses will run on Louisiana Showcase Night, closing night here at the meet. That'll be Saturday, July the 7th. Well, that does it for this break. Let's take a look at the jockey and trainer standings. We'll get back to this week's episode of the Horseman Don Show. Beat me in these 870s, man. <laughs> Is your advice just to pick you every time? Is that right? Uh, no, sir, not really. I, I ride some slows around there too. I try to, I try to make them all count, though. You know what, though? I always brag about your 870s, but I'm telling you, every time you do it, and you beat me, it's just like a punch in the gut. <laughs> That's yeah, a compliment. Most, you do great. Most of the time, if if, if I'm on one, it, he he got a decent shot. Yeah. I don't, I can't say I can win them all, but most of the time they got a decent yeah. shot. You're doing good with Ray Robbins horses. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, we, uh, I came uh, like the last month or so to thoroughbred meet, yeah. and uh, kind of built a little the chemistry with the horses. Yeah. But I've been I've been riding for him since I since I've been over here. He, matter of fact, he uh, gave me my first little quarter horse win in Louisiana. Yeah. Yes, sir. I talked to him this morning. He's had a little trouble with his father, so I wish him the best. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know that feeling. There, it's not too good. Yeah. Well, hang in there. Keep winning those eight seventies and proving me wrong. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> bye bye. Let's talk about Shake, Shake, Shake it. Congratulations, I wasn't able to get to you after the race. That's okay. Uh, shake, Shake, Shake is a really, really, really neat story, and I'll say it real quickly because you know I'm a professional auctioneer and I talk fast. But <laughs> first of all, Shake, Shake, Shake it is an interesting story. 27 years ago, uh, when my son he started training, I told him the first year he had to have a stakes winner. So we went to Heritage Place and we bought a mare called Folzuki Cookie. First year we bred her to Corona Cartel, the stud fee was only two thousand dollars. That one won two hundred seventy-two thousand, was a multiple stakes winner. Scoop Vessels called me. He said, Mike, I'd like to breed that mare. I said, okay, what to? He said, Fisher's Dash. I said, I don't know. I said, so finally he said, well, if you'll breed a Fisher's Dash this year, I'll breed to, I'll let you breed the first down dash next year. I said, deal, done deal. So we bred her again. The second one, she wins 171,000. It's a multiple stakes winner. Breaks a track record pregnant to Chicks Bodueno. Breaks a track record with Tama Park. Wow. To make a long story short, Full Zookie Cookie has kept me in business for the last 27 years. One of her daughters was through Eva's eyes, also a stakes winner, a great filly, and uh, she had a, a baby, and uh, that, that filly had a little trace say center, so that, that's where we come to Shake, Shake, Shake It. For 27 years, Foles Lucky Cookie has kept me in the racing industry, and Shake, Shake, Shake It is actually her grandson. Uh, as far as the individual Shake, Shake, Shake It, uh, we knew from, from the get-go this horse had talent, but this horse had a lot, a lot of health issues, and they were not physical ailments, they were he had uh, congestion in his lungs, uh, you know, respiratory problems. Mm -hmm. And six weeks to the day before he won the race, his head was four inches from the ground, his legs were spread out in the front, and he was full of snot, and it was just a sad oh. commentary. In fact, there were two days that I thought we would lose the horse. Mm -hmm. But with the crew's help at the ranch, which is outstanding, all the grooms and of course the management there, and with Dr. Brandon, uh, the horse came back, he, and. Uh, 
we knew it when we entered him in the trials. We did the schooling race, of course. We were impressed with the schooling race, even though we knew he was sick. We brought him back for the trials. We knew he was sick, but we took the chance because this horse seemed to overcome stress and problems, and he ran a game third in that, of course, to the fast uh, the horse that was the second, least, second fastest qualifier. Mm -hmm. And when he, in the next two weeks, we took pictures of him daily. And you can just see this horse change and see this horse blossom. That's in what fact, Antonio told me. He said he really blossomed it, over those three weeks. It was amazing to watch him day to day to day, mm -hmm. a, a sequence of pictures. So that night when we went to, into the paddock and Tony looked at me, I said, Tony, I said, we're going to win this race. And he grinned at me and he said, I'm pretty confident too. And I said, well, you know, it's an awful tough field, but this horse has peaked at the right time. He's got a good post position. You know how to handle him. Get, be sure you pick his head up and, and get him moving before you know before you get down the track too far and he rode an exceptional ride if you look at the wind picture he's rolled up in a little bitty tight ball you can hardly see him and he got everything out of the horse that night so you know shake 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 it is a great story it's a great story not just for me or for taylor racing but you know for the industry to watch a horse yeah. change and blossom and grow in the family it's, it's a great story well the question is how's he doing now after the race horse is doing extremely well you know of course we went right back to maintenance and uh Horse came back good, sound, wise, uh, no, no major physical problems, went over him good. Dr. Brandon again went over him. And right now he's resting peacefully and he's taking you know, his afternoon siestas and he's getting to pick grass in the morning. And we're, Where's we're, he headed next? That's the question. Well, you know where he's heading next. I know, we're, Lee Berwick, we're going, I know. <laughs> we're, we're heading, we're pointing him to the Lee Berwick and we hope, you know, we hope that the horse uh, will you know, be ready to peak again. So we'll see, it, Lee Berwick will be tough. You know, $700,000 yeah. first last year, brings out the best of the best. And, but we're going to try to be one of the best of the best. How special was it to win it with those owners? That's a unique group of people. It was extremely special. As you know, uh, the last three or four years we put together groups. Ten for ten was one. Ten to win was one. And last year I just made a decision to change a little bit, to go for higher quality horses but less horses. We've been doing ten horses. We did five horses. We spent about the same amount of money. But this group of people is amazing. I mean, their backgrounds, their you know where they came from, where they've been. And we, I'll be honest with you, we picked the people before we picked the horses at the sale. Wow. The people were so intricate. We picked people that were not only a big part of the horse industry all over the United States, but people that had the best interest of racing at heart. Yeah. And these people, they, you're talking about people having a ball. I have never seen people so appreciative. That winter circle was a lot of fun, I know that. And, and they, they didn't stop. They came to, they came to the ranch and uh, they're just a great group of people that they understand racing, they understand the highs, the lows, they understand what it means to win, they understand how unusual it is to win a race like the Laddie. So yeah, my, my hat's off to them and kudos to the, show me the money. Well, that's really a special story. Congratulations, good luck in the trials for the Lee Burwood. Sounds like you got a good one. I appreciate it, thank you, Don. All right, John, uh, Wednesday, we're halfway through the season. How's it gone so far? So far, so good. I mean, we're probably a little lighter on entry, but everything's getting better, so. Yeah. Big trials coming up. Firecracker, Futurity and Derby next week, and then Lee We Tell me how we're stacked up for that. Looks like we've got 48 eligible for the Firecracker Derby, so we hopefully we'll have three to four trials in the, the, tri the Futurity. We've got 126, so hopefully we'll have five to six trials for them. How's the Lee Berwick looking a couple weeks out? They're looking good. we got, what, 236 horses for that? Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. So First may be close to last year or no? It should be close. Yeah. And we'll know more when we enter for them. So. Yeah, everything going pretty smooth? So far. How's your team doing in here? Good, real good. Everybody gets along good, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Everybody Been here a long time, haven't they? Yep. Yeah. yep. All right, well, thanks. Good luck second half of the meet. All right, thanks. Thanks. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of the Horseman Don Show. I thank you so much for checking in with us. Make sure and subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button, the thumbs up down below. That means a lot to us. Leave a comment and, of course, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get alerts every time we put up a new video here on the Horseman Don Show. Just a reminder, this is week seven of our season. We'll race this Wednesday through Saturday night. Post times are at 6.15. One stakes race this week. It's for the distance horses. That'll be on Friday night. It's the Virgil Bond Stakes at 870 yards. That should really be a good one. Of course, next week we've got the Firecracker Trials and the week after the Lee Berwick Trials, so the season is really heating up. Don't miss the action here at Delta Downs through July 7th when the meet comes to a close. Well, until next time, I'm Horseman Don. Come on out to the track, enjoy a great time, and don't forget to go 
Ooh, cash those tickets. See you next time.